Hey guys, back with another Acme Thoughts podcast here, episode number 48. And Adele, Adele's here finally. A little teaser update, December update, it's coming. Long overdue. I know a lot of people that are excited about it. A lot of people that have been waiting months, they thought, shoot, it's going to come out an anniversary, right? People thought it was going to come out before Kana and waited patiently. Um, happy for them. Hopefully, it's very strong to make up for the lack of, you know, for all those people that are waiting. Hopefully, it brings back some players, uh, player base um, to come back, main it. Uh, it's a beautiful class. It looks amazing. The skills, if you haven't seen it, YouTube it, uh, KMSM, the, even, you know, they have their new skills. Uh, if you want to look at PC, um, it's it's awesome. It's like a, you know, it's one of the flashiest, nicest warriors out there. Um, but probably on, on par with a lot of, of the nicest, aesthetically pleasing classes in the game, to be honest. And uh, they seem like great mobbers. Bossing, we'll see what their lines are like, their numbers are like. But I'm sure if they're, you know, better than Demon Avengers, which I assume they are, um, they're going to be pretty strong, right? They're going to be the Warriors in general. A lot of the Warriors are very good. And I expect Adele to be at least competitive. Um, obviously, with great funding, they'll be, um, you know, any class can be good. So excited, happy for um, this release. Hopefully they bring us more, maybe a rebalance, maybe something to, um, something more, but Adele is nice. And this podcast, we're really going to talk about what I'm excited about, what a lot of people are excited about, what comes with a new class, and that is mesos, how to make mesos, how to sort of take advantage of new classes, people re-rolling, doing their legion, their alts, um, what to do in that sense, and things that I'm going to do specifically um, this time around to try and maximize mesogain gain from it. Um, and so you guys can get ahead of it a week early before it comes out. You guys can kind of prep and get ready. And um, kind of a, it's kind of like a black, it's kind of like a, a new release for something like a Black Friday sale or something. Just everyone's going to be waiting for that day. And then finally when it comes, we're going to be, we're all going to be ready. So um, stay tuned for that. And kind of with any new class, the first thing that I usually do, or I, as someone that doesn't really take advantage of the market too much, um, I'm looking for Star Force uniques, right? So if you're trying to make mesos, I would highly recommend using some red mesos to build up unique Star Force 17, Star Force 18. I like 18. I'll pay more for 18 because I try to get to SF 180. Um, full 17 is 144. Um, so, but 18 is, I think, like kind of the upper tier whales try to go for that number. So, if you're trying to, um, you know, if you're trying to make mesos, that's always good. People will just buy it out on the first day. Um, maybe even now, they're going to start buying it out. Um, the warrior gear is going to be, you know, a premium price. So definitely take advantage of that. Make mesos that way. The next thing is Mastercraft fodders, right? We patch necros, patch attempts with Absolabs, whatever it is. It's real. People are attempting, saving all their necros, all their armors, weapons, whatever it is for post-patch. You see everyone hitting, you, you see people hitting necros, exalts, absolabs, it's real. And so, Mastercraft scrolls, right? Fusing those, post them up, those are going to be for a premium, right? If you have powders, if you have CD, if you have alts that have powders, fuse them into mythics. You might get an emblem. You might get a good uh, mythic piece that is more, you know, more valuable. I, if I were to recommend a piece in general, I would say outfits because people are still looking to build their outfits. And, um, you know, if you hit a good, if you by chance get a good outfit, you get by chance get an emblem with a good em uh, outfit with emblem, those go for premium, right? Um, and outfits are nice as well because, 
any outfit is good. Um, so, um, you know, there's no real, per se, like, better than others. They're all good, in my opinion. So, definitely, outfits is usually what I prioritize um, because people are trying to make tradable ones, trying to make projects out of that, necro attempts. And um, that's a great way to make mezzles as well. Mastercraft, um, even for Absolab attempts, people are going to start buying RA coin, um, RA um, ancient pieces, right? The hats, the top, the bottom. This is a great time to post warrior tops, bottoms, to post um, if you have weapons, RA weapons available, post up the Adele weapons, right? Those are going to go for premium prices. People will spend up for that, um, for alts. Um, and, you know, so definitely wait for that Adele weapon for Rutabis. Even mains will use it kind of as a placeholder before they get a better mythic while well, they start to build a mythic or inherent ancient weapon it's um that's a great way to kind of just take advantage of the coins the resources the the bossing that you've been doing um warriors right like i mentioned top and bottom but those are all great um, easy ways to just make a little bit extra off of something that you've been you know grinding out co resources coins that you've been getting so those are always easy um simple things that you can do to profit during this time of new characters um and then the kind of the last thing that um, something i'm gonna try to do i have a lot of weapon powders and like i mentioned mastercraft i'm gonna make mass i'm gonna make mythic weapons adele right no one's gonna have it everyone's gonna be looking for jaihan they're gonna be looking for utgard they're gonna be looking for emblems Fuse them. Give it a try. Test your luck. Have some fun with it. Uh, you make made a, make a good piece. Like all those pieces are going to get, um, you know, be obviously low in stock and higher in demand. So definitely try to take advantage of that. Um, and if you if you if you end up fusing an emblem, those that's going to go for a lot, right? Especially if it's BA or CD. Um, yeah, you're going to be making a good amount of profit from that. So. Um, Definitely will be doing that as well. Stock up on red mezzles while you're at it, right? Um, it's a good time. Just the profits are going to be greater if you're using red mezzles. And it's just going to be, uh, it's going to be lucrative, right? If you're just, you don't have to do all of these things, but some here and there, uh, if you have the reason, if you have the coins, if you have the mezzles, if you have the powders, if you enjoy star forcing, Now's the time. Now's the time to be um, making some of that, making some of that gains. And so, definitely, um, new character releases have their benefits. The market, the economy, um, all the smart money players um, are doing it, right? And all the mega whales are going to spend on it. They're going to spend, um, and so might as well make some make some bread. Make some bread. Um, and if there's anything else that you guys do, um, comment below. Let us know what you guys are doing. I think it's great for the community. Uh, there's a lot of free-to-play players out there just trying to find ways to make more mezzles. Um, I hope that you know we can just share with the community, uh, help each other out. I've been, you know, I, I haven't been doing all these things, right? I, I've learned from other people, um, so I'm happy to share. Um, kind of my knowledge things that I'm gonna do because I I'm still learning right there's a lot of smart players out there that take advantage of this stuff and been doing it for a long time and um, kind of using this platform to share it to you guys so now we're gonna talk about how I'm prepping the next week before Adele to gear up my alt get it ready to go um, so I have the star force and I can power level ASAP. Um, I'm going to be full transparency. Um, I usually have a training party uh, in SF 180 where I have my alt just leech, resting. Just what it is. Um, everyone does it. Um, a lot of the, all, all the big time whales do it. Um, it's just what it is. And so, 
take that with a grain of salt of how I gear compared to other people um, and you and your situation. But to get to SF-180, it's, it's a lot, right? Um, I think SF-144 is probably the best bang for your buck, um, especially if Adele is a good, good at surviving, um, good at mobbing and clearing it and can survive on their own with auto battle. Because for a lot of the growth packages, you're going to need to, you know, to get that mount, um, you're going to need auto battle, a thousand minutes of auto battle. So SF-144 might be a good place. But for me, SF-180, I get full 18s, uniques. Um, the weapon is going to be challenged, right? Because I got to do that myself. Um, secondary weapon, you can use uh, um, the long Longinus, if that's how you say it, spear. Um, the unique secondary weapon that's uh, for every class. Um, I'm probably gonna cut that over from another class, or just get a get one on the trade server, um, and then um, get that up to ten star force. And then, how do you get the rest of the star force? Well, I'm gonna do. I usually do top and bottom. That is just a must. Whether it's I don't know fifteen star force each, um, sixteen seventeen each it's it just depends i'm not really super picky about it and the rest is through accessories um, sometimes you can buy a growth package you can get six star force there um, that if you want to take that route um, but for most people i would say the best thing is monster park do that weekly you'll get coins you'll get star force from that um, ring i think it's ring earrings neck so you could get i think up to six star force from three pieces that way and then obviously just from doing your dailies, your hard expeditions, your chaos expeditions, you can do hard expeditions on all your characters if you want, and those all become tradable. Um, so that's a, those are great things you can do now. Um, and should just be doing, maybe not on all your alts, but consistently daily, just for the chance of getting those drops. Those are free accessories, free um, Star Force. And the nice thing is if they're the epic version, those are very easy to scissors. You don't need crystals. You can just use gold leaves to get that um, scissors. So it's very affordable. And that Star Force accessory, you can get a, a lot. You know, you can get that adds up very quickly and that makes up for a lot of um, missed Star Force. But if you don't get to whatever desired Star Force you want to, check out the um, hyperstats. Once you get to level 141, 140, one point here, one point there into uh, Star Force. If you can use an event um, ticket for free, 50, 50 mil, save yourself 50 mil, worth it, right? Some of the higher Star Force maps are worth it. Like if you're at 144 versus 158 versus 168 versus 180, it, uh, ex the EXP um, is exponential, to be honest. And so those are always, I have no shame um, and using hyperstats, especially if you have red mesos left over, if you have a ticket, even if it's like a 30 mil ticket and it cuts that cost, that's uh, that Star Force lasts forever. And that way, it, if you use the hyperstat, you can eventually cut a an accessory to another alt, right? Um, so it's kind of just mixing and matching, um, find just how to get into that number and then figuring out the rest later. So I, that is sort of what I do. Um, that's what I've been doing for my Legion. I've been slowly, one after another, just trying to get it. And then um, EXP tickets are huge. Link skills. If you're trying to maximize your ESP, EXP, switch over your Mercedes link skill. Switch over your Cygnus Knights link skill. I think it's Cygnus Knights. Um, maybe not. Maybe the one with uh, Battle Mage and uh, maybe it's the Pirates. Um, but there's a, one that stacks for exp and then obviously use your um your legion grid for exp if you can get the kerning tower for the 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 um the metal for 15 percent exp weekly just uh, little things like that um put our exp coupons stack it with hot time just ways to efficiently train and level um, it's it all adds up it's all nice. And so that is sort of things that I do. I try to get up to 300% as, you know, as much as possible. You can buy some, even some tickets on the trade server. 
You can get uh, yellow tickets, uh, 50% EXP tickets from the events, um, just dailies. You can get red and orange ones from like Dimensions Invasions, things like that. So even like salads from Mulong. It's, there's a lot of ways to get EXP now. Um, so definitely try to maximize that um, and maximize Star Force. And that is sort of things that I've been doing for Legion. And I'm going to be doing for my Adele. Try to get it to, up to SF-175. Um, I wish that they made the burning event to 160. I think Kana was 180. But maybe that was just an anniversary thing. But it's only going to be at 140 this time. But still, burning events are nice. I wish they increased it. But that's um, kind of things that I'm going to be doing curious what other people are going to be doing are you going to main it what do you think of adele are you excited for it um, comment below right um i think this is a new characters are not always the most exciting update but it's just part of the game they come out with what three to four a year it feels like so it's inevitable you might as well try to take advantage of it um, you might as well try to make mezzles off of it and um you know be level it in alt as efficiently as possible. So that is all I got. It's kind of a short podcast here, but I think this is something that is going to be helpful, impactful. Comment below what you want me to talk about. Um, I got some things lined up that I'm going to talk about before the end of the year, but comment below any questions that you have. Um, I got a lot of feedback from this last video that I posted, just talking about how um, you know quitting season complaints about the game um issues with what's going on and kind of just yeah uh it's a tough um it's kind of i want to thank everyone for commenting uh sharing their stories um giving their insight and i, I kind of love that a lot of people are commenting back and forth but if you have any questions at all um, let me know in the comment things you want me to talk about more uh, here to help here to help um until then, thank you for watching. appreciate all the support. Um, see you guys next time.